So far we've had a terrific beginning from the North American leg of the From Ocean to Ocean pilgrimage in defense of human life with the icon, the pilgrim icon of Our Lady of Czestochowa. This magnificent icon which has already been from Vladivostok, Russia on the Pacific coast of Russia to Fatima, Portugal and then to Nazare, Portugal where the first missionaries set off for the New World. And we had a welcoming ceremony uh, a short while ago on St. Clement's Island in Maryland. And in 1634, the first English Catholics arrived there on the ships, the Ark and the Dove. And Father Andrew White, a Jesuit priest, celebrated mass on the Feast of the Annunciation. These Catholics came seeking religious freedom. And now religious freedom is under attack by politicians who would force Catholics and others to pay for contraception and abortifacient drugs. After this magnificent welcome and beautiful hospitality from the people of St. Mary's County, we took the icon to Holy Rosary Church in Baltimore, where we started in the Inner Harbor and had a procession through the streets with about 400 people. Uh, Mother Teresa's Missionary Charity Sisters were also present, and Auxiliary Bishop Dennis Madden said a Mass in which he gave a, a homily in defense of life and religious freedom. And the inner harbor of Baltimore, of course, is where during the War of 1812, Francis Scott Key was inspired to write the Star Spangled Banner, our nation's anthem, during a time of crisis in our nation. And today our nation faces another crisis, the crisis of the ongoing culture of death where abortion is legal in all nine months of pregnancy and for practically any reason. And since that time, there have been over 57 million surgical abortions and also many more abortions through abortifacient drugs in the so-called morning after pill. After that, uh, on the feast day of Our Lady of Czestochowa itself, on August 26th, we took the uh, icon to Germantown, Maryland where we had a mass early in the morning uh, at Mother Seton Parish, and then a procession to a place where they do late-term abortions. And we prayed for the conversion of the abortion clinic personnel, as well as the men and women who came to this pl place of despair and death. And that day, three women decided against abortion, and they chose life for their babies. There was also an open and honest conversation with one of the people who worked in this place of death, who herself revealed that she had had an abortion and that she was forced into it by her mother. Before this, she would only scream obscenities at the pro-lifers who came to pray and to offer help to the women who were there. But this day, she had an opportunity for conversion. The Blessed Mother opened her heart and we continue to pray for her as well as others affected by the tragedy of abortion. And then we took the icon back to St. Mary's County where we had a, a wonderful welcome at Immaculate Heart of Mary Church in Lexington Park and this parish reflected the diversity of America. There were people there of Filipino descent, of Hispanic descent, Italians, Germans, Irish, Polish, even a person who was descended from Piscataway Native Americans. And we, we, everyone loved Our Lady of Czestochowa, Our Lady of Fatima, Our Lady of Czestochowa, Our Lady of Lourdes, Our Lady of Guadalupe. She's the same lady and she loves us and she only points the way to her son. Then also we will be taking her to uh, St. Mary of Sorrows Church in Fairfax, where there will be a, a special hour for post-abortion healing and reconciliation. We will pray for all those who have been affected by the violence of abortion. And we will pray that they come to know God's mercy and love for them. So I ask you to continue to keep this pilgrimage in your prayers, this pilgrimage which is already having a terrific effect Pray for the conversion of our country. Pray for the protection of religious freedom. Pray that marriage be respected as a union between one man and one woman who are united for life and open to the transmission of life. Pray for an end to abortion and for a greater respect for all human life.
from the moment of conception to the moment of natural death.